Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have my monthly favorites for the month of March for you as well as my shop my stash for the month of April. Um, for those of you who don't know, I basically just do my favorites from this month and then I also throw in a couple items that I am hoping to get more use out of, to use up, um, just products that I wish I used more that I am going to try to incorporate into my routine for the next month, so for April. Um, here is my cat. She's joined me today. Also, I have some pretzels in front of me, so if I just, like, start eating, that's why. Um, and let's get right into the favorites. Um, first up, I have this... Trex, I'm sorry, you have to go. Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil Light, right here. Um, my skin has been really unpredictable this month. It started out super dry, and like, it, it's a long story, but it started out super dry. Um, and I used that when it was really dry to sort of rehydrate it in the morning before makeup. Um, the lightness means that it doesn't like break down my makeup or anything, and it's been really good. There's a motorcycle outside. Hopefully you can't hear that. Um, the only problem I have with it is that it is really expensive and I'm almost out. And also the packaging is kept falling apart. Totally falling apart. Uh, I'm just gonna put this somewhere that I can't spill. Okay, and next up. I'm going to mention this really quickly. This is a baked eyeshadow palette from Forever 21. Um, this is like two years old at this point. But it just looks like that. Um, I guarantee you can't get this anymore. Um, but I really like it. And I've been using it a lot this month. I really like this pink shade down here for a lid shade. This was the first highlighter I ever used. So yeah. Um, I'll give you a couple swatches so you can see. Obviously they're baked shadows so they're not as intense as other shadows maybe, but some swatches on the finger and then on the hand. So I really like them. Um, they work well with water or other fixing stuff so they can be foiled really nicely and yeah, they're good. Okay, um, next up, let's stick with eyes, I have this e.l.f. cream liner, um, it's just a gel liner in a little pot, like so, um, it's what I'm using, what I use to do my winged liner today, I know it's dripping, one sec, alright, so it's what I used to do my gel, or my winged liner today, um, it's really easy to use, and I think that this is five bucks-ish? I don't know. I got this a while ago, tried to use it, was really bad at it. Recently I've been trying to get better at wing liner. It's working, and I've really enjoyed using this. And let's go to face. Um, so right now I have the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, which you can totally read on there because it hasn't worn off at all, um, in the shade Porcelain. It's just a little pot of concealer. And I've really been enjoying this to cover up blemishes, um, especially on days where I wear very little makeup because it pretty much exactly matches my skin tone, so I can just pop it on over a pimple and then just, you know, blend it out and leave it. Um, yeah, this is what I used to cover this monstrosity on my forehead today, which probably didn't work very well. I have a giant thing, like, somewhere in that area. And... It does a great job compared to my other concealers, and I've really been enjoying this, and again, it's like five bucks. So, can't go wrong with that. That was not supposed to hit other things. Okay, next up, I have something from my last month's Shop My Stash. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Y'all know what this looks like. Um, but, it's just the small one. I've had this for a really long time. I think it is my favorite bronzer. The reason I stopped using it is because I thought it was breaking me out, but I think it doesn't. So I'm super excited about that. Um, this is just the mini. I got it in the Sephora Play Box. What they're called? No. I don't get Sephora Play. Sephora Favorites Boxes. You know the ones that like 
you walk in and they have a bunch of boxes of like collections. So it's one of those. Um, I am gripping it. This is fun. Yes. Really like this. It's what I'm wearing in addition to a contour today. Also, let's just address my makeup. Um, I know I went a little overboard. I don't really care. Um, yes, my lips are overlined right now. And yeah, I haven't worn black waterline liner since like sophomore year of high school. And that was a weird year. Actually, from like freshman and sophomore year, I wore so much black waterline liner. It was intense. So I wear it very occasionally, and it's giving me flashbacks to that right now. But, you know, I went for it. Okay, moving right along to my final favorite. Um, I've basically just been. Sorry. I've basically just been using a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again this month, so. Here's um, my last favorite. Um, this is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Chihuahua. Um, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now, but I'm also wearing this hair on my face. A gloss and a liner and a liquid lipstick. Like, matte liquid lipstick around the edges. But the majority of what you see is this. Um, I've really been loving this. This was my first high-end lipstick, I think. I really like the color. It's really pretty. Yes. Yes, I like. Okay, so it's next day, Luna, and I have some things that I totally spaced on yesterday to talk about. Um, first up is this nail polish. Uh, it's by Koki Professional. It's cute. It's got a little elephant on it. Um, and it's got this cute little striped blood that reminds me of Sephora. Um, it's this really cool, like, periwinkle blue shade that looks baby blue in some lights and pastel lavender in others, and right now it looks very periwinkle. Um, I'm not wearing it right now. I am on my toes, but my feet look really gross right now, so I'm not going to show you. But I have been wearing this on my fingers and toes for the majority of March, so I've really loved it. Um, next physical thing I have to show you are these mom jeans. Um, they're from New Luck. They are a UK size 10, US size 6, uh, length 34, because I'm tall. They're still kind of short on me. Um, yes. Uh, my... In a couple weeks, I have a video coming where I will try these on. I think it's in two weeks. So, yes. You will see them in better, greater detail then. Um, yeah. I like these. Um, they have a rip on this knee, and I have worn these at least twice a week since I got them, maybe a month. And also, another favorite that I'm going to mention very briefly is this watch, which is going to be really awkward to show you because it's on. Also from ASOS. Oh wait, I ordered these from ASOS. Um, I just knocked all the stuff for my next video over. Um, but yes, ASOS, I think it's called like a clean dial something watch. It's rose gold and black and I love it. Um, and then, non-physical things that I wanted to talk about. One, Ed Sheeran's new album. I'm not big on pop music, but like, that album either has me crying or dancing, so like, it, w it was chill. Um, second, Bell and Sebastian, just the band in general, been very into their stuff, particularly that, particularly in their earlier stuff. Um, yeah. And then third, Beauty and the Beast. Like, oh my god, that movie kills me, and I love it so much. I've only seen it once so far, um, but I hope to see it again, except for I don't really want to pay to go see it in theaters again. So yeah, um, but Beauty and the Beast, the original, is one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, and this one. Everything about it is so perfect, and I loved it, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go film something else. Uh, and I'm gonna stop interjecting my own video. Bye! Okay, and one other favorite. Sorry. This was in the wrong pile, but this is another favorite. This is the Britana Witch Hazel Face and Body Toner. Uh, basically, I've just been enjoying Witch Hazel. This is my form of it. Um, 
it helps like even out your skin tone, prevent acne, that sort of stuff. I think that it's been working. Um, right now I have exactly one pimple and it is like unicorn torn style, but it's okay. Um, which is, that's rare for me and I think that this has really helped with that. So I use this twice a day, but every other day I throw in my glycolic acid toner in the evenings, so I use this morning and night, except sometimes I use a different one. Um, yeah, so this is witch hazel and aloe and a couple other things for scent and stuff so it doesn't smell gross like witch hazel. But I know that this will probably be hard to find, but just witch hazel toners in general. Very nice. Okay, and moving on to things I want to use more in April? Yes? Oh god, that, that happened fast. Um, so first up, I have orange lippies. So these are just two of the ones I have. I have other ones too. This is Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Anna Nicole, which is sort of love swatch. I think I wore this in my last video? Was that my last video? Yeah, I think so. And then this is Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Punch Drunk. So, as you can see, both of these are pretty vibrant oranges. Um, I really like orange lip colors. And yeah, um, they're very pretty. And I've been wanting to wear brighter colors more often, so this is a good way to insert color into my life. Um, and then, I have very few things for this as well. Apparently this is not going to be a very long video. So then I have the Sephora Face Powder Wet Smoothing Translucent Setting Powder um, in Universal. It's just a white translucent setting powder. Um, I have very little left of this and I basically just want to use it up. Um, yeah, that's where we're at with this guy. Um, and then, finally, I have a collection of single shadows that I want to use more. Um, basically, I just want to use more single shadows because I've been kind of enjoying using the one I got in my Ipsy box because, I don't know, they're just, they're colors that I don't really have anywhere else. So, here are the ones that I have. This is the NYX Prismatic Shadow in Bedroom Eyes. So it's just a pretty copper shade. So, uh, it's like a coppery bronze, as you can probably see. Um, next up, we have the Ulta Gel Bounce Eyeshadow in the shade Glam. So there's that, and then. These are actually very similar, but the texture of this one is really cool. So that's that one right there. It's a little bit more glittery. And then we have Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy. This is just a pretty champagne color, I guess, with glitter. Is that guy up there? And then Essence Eyeshadow in Party All Night. Keep in mind, this one is like four years old. Maybe five. But it's still pretty. Whoa, okay, the packaging, not in the best shape. But so that's the guy right there. So essentially, I just want to use up more of my single shadows because they don't get enough love. Um, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another video to go film now, probably. Yes. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, those were my favorites for March and my to use more objects for April. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And what am I saying? Oh, I am still doing sub for some. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you. Um, it's kind of sad, but I realized I just got 10 subscribers. So, thank you for subscribing. 10 seems like a milestone. Um, and let's just keep going. And I'm always doing sub for sub. Not always, but like I am right now. So if you want to subscribe and have me subscribe back and support each other, 
just ask and I'll see you next time. Bye!